This is Jerry Coviello, a member of the International Federation of Fly Fishers tie, Fly Tying Group, to show how to tie the Mickey Finn Bucktail Streamer. Materials needed to tie this streamer. Hook Mustad 9575 or any 6X long hook. Thread Black 60, Rib Oval Silver Tinsel body flat silver tinsel, the wing yellow, then red, then yellow, bucktail, all half a shank past the bend, and the head is black. This is a loop-eyed hook. We will use this to our advantage as a base for the bucktail wing. We will tie the thread on the shank of the hook and go from the eye to the bend and back to the eye to help us when tying materials on the shank of the hook. Now tie in the oval tinsel. Tie it right after the end of the loop eye. Tie the oval tinsel on the side of the shank of the hook to help make a nice even body for when we wrap the tinsel body. Tie in the flat silver tinsel at the end of the loop eye. Since I'm going to use the rotating feature of the vise, I will need to tie a half hitch near the eye so the thread does not become unraveled. Wrap the tinsel from the eye to the bend and back to the eye, making sure you cover all the gaps. Now I will rib the fly with the oval tinsel. Once again, I will use the rotating feature of the vise, so I will need to put another half hitch knot at the eye. Then you will take the oval tinsel, wrap from the bend to the eye using nice even spaces.
take your tying thread and lay a base of thread on the loop eye and close the eye off and tie right to where the eye is turned down. This will give us a base to tie the yellow bucktail on. Take yellow bucktail and stack it in a hair stacker to line up the tips. Measure the hair against the shank. We want the hair to extend past the bend at least half the shank of the fly hook. Take red bucktail and stack it in a hair stacker to line up the tips and make sure the tips line up with the yellow that is already on the shank of the hook and secure the, the red bucktail right where you left off tying in the yellow. Look at how I am trimming the butts of the bucktails. This will make a nice shape at the end. Now add the final yellow bucktail. Line them up with the tips, tie them in right after where you left off at the red, and secure them in tight. Now with your tying thread, build up a nice head. Wrap over the bucktail butts back and forth back and forth to make a nice triangular shape head. Whip finish the fly, cut the thread, then add head cement to the head of the fly to give it a nice lacquered look. 